husband. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is katlakotabakhale i'm a third year medical student but I, I i don't even know i forgot my introduction um this is my first video this year and i can't wait to tell you all that has been happening in my life come spend a day with me today uh i'll be going to work i think this is my last day at work uh i've been working uh my contract, I think it will end today or someday. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, we have a lot to catch up on. This is a vlog. And thank you so much for 630 subscribers. I'm so late now. I need to uh, request and then go to work. Um, yeah, see you then. Bye. Hey guys, uh, the <laughs> no Yeah, uh, we just took a, we're just taking a 30 minutes break, um, and then we'll go back. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I don't know what to say, but what are you gonna say? What were you doing? How did you feel? I haven't even told them what am I doing? What job am I doing? Huh? Can't you worry? <laughs> <laughs> I said in the morning I was like, hello, I'm going to campus, bye. <laughs> Daddy, I'm, I'm going later. Even I didn't say campus, I said I'm going to work. Oh. And this might be my last day at work. Uh-huh. And then I didn't say anything more. I haven't explained. I haven't disclosed. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, guys. Who important guys to have a paycheck, you know? Like pay sleeping yana to be part of colleague. <laughs> anyway, okay. See you guys when we are um when we are not settled and eating and yeah psych wow, 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 wow. <laughs> anyway guys bye okay <laughs> have you been recording <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what to say we are home we are here in hartford and people are still writing exams. And I'm just like, guys, the quality exam is going to be a good campus. When are we starting with the second semester? You're going to be a good first semester test. How lame. What? Who? Yeah. I. Electric chair. <laughs> of us as medical students, not you guys. Yeah, we don't even know if they're writing this up or not. Ah! It's first exam! But in June, if you're like the 29th of June, is it the 29th today or the 30th? Something more. As long as we are awake, yes. That's the important part. We woken up and we showed up. 29th. Mm hmm. Okay, bye bye guys. Um, hi guys, I forgot to vlog again. Okay, we just <laughs> finished. What time is it? Quarter past five. Quarter past five. We just finished now, and yeah, we'll be waiting for the six o'clock bus. Obviously, we can't be Ubering when the when there's a free bus. I care, guys. Um, yeah. Um, when I get to my room, we'll talk, and then I'll close the vlog. Sake. <laughs> <laughs>
Content creation, darling. You might get see Fela. Are you sorry? Thank you. Nikki Lemon Joe. Yo, but I get to get in got this light. I hate it. I think it's better there. I want to make some weird on the background i don't think so i think i'm ready ma i don't like this i can't write at all uh rather cutely secaf oh my god what is that yeah. oh my god what is that mona wa muru Yeah, this is the next day I was supposed to have uh, I was supposed to have like finished the video yesterday where we sit down and talk and whatnot but yesterday I was exhausted from speaking English the whole day English can be exhausting so I was speaking English the whole day and I couldn't finish filming um, and I had to catch up with my friend. I went to my friend's room. You'll see with the last video where I was in the mirror. Did you see how gorgeous I was? I was really gorgeous. I don't want to lie. I was very stunning. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, what did I want to talk about? I wanted to like let you guys know what has been happening in my life. Why have I not been on YouTube for so many years? For so many months a lot has happened in my life i don't want to lie a lot has happened uh in my life and i had to leave youtube for a while i think i was also becoming very overwhelmed and i was losing myself with this thing of creating content i wanted to understand who am i in the social media platform what am i and what's my role am i here to be someone's role model am i here to be an influencer am i here to act am i here to be anyone's voice am i here to be relatable and lose that essence of being myself and be like oh we all fear fail where else this time around i didn't fail i wanted to understand the kind of content i want to do and i was like go back to the first day you started filming the first day you started with uh, social media or youtube what did you want to do i love creating videos i love editing and that was that was the reason i wanted to create a channel where i just document my journey not journey only in medicine yes in the if during that day during that time i was just like just to narrate how, how was my journey in YouTube. Was I doing it for someone else? No, I was doing it for myself. And I wanted this channel to just be me. 
I, I, that's why I didn't name it medical student or something like that. I said Katlo talks because what do I do most? What do I love doing? Talking, but with a very severely uh, depleting social battery. I, I enjoy talking in the over my phone or in my room alone rather than talking to people, people because people are stupid. Guys, sorry. Anyway, yeah, and I don't wanna lie. The person I am now, I'm a, I'm actually a monster right now. Like, I've I've grown so much for the past six months. Uh, uh, it's even my birthday soon. Like, I've 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 grown, guys. I don't wanna lie. I've I've experienced so much in my life, uh, such eye-opening opportunities, uh, lessons I've learned, uh, you know, there were moments where I thought, you know what, um, the world is moving too fast for my liking. Anyway, um, what did I want to talk, where, where was I going with this? I get very distracted quite easily. Right. Um, so I first wanted to explain yesterday's saga or whatever was going on yesterday. So yesterday, yes, um, I challenged myself this year. Being someone who's coming from also a high school where I didn't do anything besides academics. And I've been only in academics and doing nothing about myself and I know I have so much potential in also doing so much because academics are not the only thing that make up Katleho or they are not it's not the only aspect in my life that I need to focus on and being someone who's who gets very bored quite easily I was also bored from school and always studying and doing nothing interesting with my life so this year I challenged myself which was a bitter moment because I was also uh, I'm my worst critic I'm my worst enemy because I always like down talk myself is that a wait something like that yeah so I look down on myself and I never believed in myself because I am in fear of believing in myself and now getting comfortable and I'm like no I this is what I do this is what I am good at and then end up failing or you know something like that so I don't like believing in myself but I need to try and I think I'm in a journey of trying to understand myself right better. Yes. Uh, where am I going with this? So this year I did challenge myself, especially this semester. This semester was quite a hectic semester. First semester, guys, first semester a lot happened and I got to understand the kind of person I am. I had to deal with so many conflicts and I am glad that I put through a life from whatever that was going on in my life and academically challenged, financially challenged, uh, friendshipically challenged, God, like everything was just challenging. Uh, other aspects of my life such as doing other engagements you know community engagement and whatnot i was challenged and that's when i learned for it. in life we are all lifelong learners you know you end up learning in whatever you've done i've learned so much in failure uh block eight humbled me my ego was so bruised um i think it bruised a lot of us like i was so happy that to see that we a lot of us were writing exams <laughs> ariana what are you doing here <laughs> like i know people who have so big egos like i'm delusional but i'm in touch with reality and having to see other students who are like and you were like okay this person uh was so over themselves or 
they never thought that they would write exams you know there are people who are like i'd rather die than to write the exam or you know those things who were like you might have done something wrong if you write the exam i also perceive the exam as like okay it was a bit embarrassing i don't want to lie okay writing the exam i'm like crazy and i think i also needed that i needed that validation i needed to like being someone who has been waking and i've never experienced failure to that extent yes maybe in grade nine i did get 50 percent for social science but who cares you know? oh my god you know but when you are so much in love with something and you are obsessed with it and it rejects you i talked about this in one of my venting sessions on instagram because instagram i don't wanna lie i think instagram also helped me to not no longer be camera shy you know i think my previous videos i was a bit pretending at some point but now i'm just my genuine sim. i just i'm just talking so yeah from all the people in on instagram who are also on youtube would understand that i just i never finish a topic and i now forgot my my train of thoughts what was i trying to say i forgot i was talking about what failure oh yeah uh, but I'm going to make a video with one of my friends. Like, I don't understand this thing of my friends going home. Like, pathetic. You're done. You're done. So what's your, what's your sentence for, for her? Electric chair. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You love going home. I'm just like, why are you going home? It's winter. Guys, why are you going home? <laughs> so I'm waiting for for a lot of my uh, classmates to come back so that we can film videos. Uh, there are a lot of videos that I'm planning on filming this year and yeah I think one of the reason again that I left YouTube uh, for a while it was I was I felt like I was losing myself at some point because people would be like ah I can't wait for you to create a video and I felt trapped and I'm someone who's very stubborn I don't want to be told what to do because I'm not going to do it like it's automatic if someone says watch the watch dishes I'm not going to do it I'm going to sleep don't tell me what to do like I think that's why I I um, I love my own space and being at my own like because I myself I'm very judgmental I'm very bossy so being bossed around it's not my forte it's not something I would recommend someone to do to me you know because they're going to be disappointed I'm not going to do it and I don't hesitate to say no I think that's why <laughs> so also in this semester I also had to face resignation I had to resign on one of the things that I, that I was doing and it was it was hell in the hey it was hell you know what? being now nah, I'm very judgmental and my judgments are all, always come up with I come back come with solution I just I don't just say I don't like this and not justify or try to qualify my reasoning and tell you I don't like this because this is going to do this and this is going to lead to this and it leading to it it I'm just like crazy I say I told you I warned you you know so I ended I ended up leaving because I was like my work here is done I've done my part of and I get bored easily I was like you know what nah you, you guys are irritating me just by saying that people were so angry I was just like don't be angry at me don't be mad at me I said nah. <laughs> you guys are irritating mozi so i had to leave <laughs> so that that's one of the things and now we are all bitter at each other and i'm just like guys nah okay i'm also bitter but am i still bitter i don't think i am 
I'm just like over it and I'm grateful for, I'm grateful that I've had to meet different people I had to experience a lot of like personalities like being someone who has been in their own bubble you know it was only school and nothing for the past years like first semester first year second year i was just in my own bubble so it was nice to branch out and learn about other people's other people's personalities not just personalities also degrees you know i made a lot of good friends um and uh it was very nice it was very uh building uh you know my cal but i think my character is quite rigid now because of what i went through a bit rigid not that much um yes i'm petty um uh yes i might have been irritated and i maybe i'm still irritated by people i hate like uh what do we call it argument eh man that's argument whatever we had drama whatever that is i might still be like ah you know but I'm grateful. I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I had this semester having to also be a tutor. I was also a tutor. Did I say that? I forgot. I was also tutoring one of the subjects for first years. And what I'm going to say now is that first years are dear first years now. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot to 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 like you still have a lot to learn uh to understand i think you uh most of my experience in uh my tutoring i feel like i feel like uh first days are still in that high school mentality it was painful to watch you know where a first year would just message you and be like, um, so I won't be available this weekend, this week for our tutorial. Would you be able to tutor me personally when I get back? <laughs> Audacity! Audacity! The gall, the gumption, you know? So I was just like, guys. This is not St. Mary's. This is not St. Peter's. This is not your prestigious schools where uh, teachers used to uh, beg you guys and do. No, here we don't care. You know, no one cares. I'm not saying it, I don't care in terms of I'm not doing my job. I was doing my job during my allocations of tutoring. I was tutoring and my pupils will let you know that no, nah listen i'm not even being delusional at this one i was the best tutor i was the not i'm not saying best tutor amongst tutors i'm talking about myself my work no my work ethic was the best shame i don't want to lie i really don't want to lie now i was waking guys delusion <laughs> convince yourself <laughs> I was working so it was nice also that's why um, now I, I might say um in third year guys try to do something outside of medicine like try to do something it was so surprising it was so fulfilling to know for me to know that i'm good at other things so i understand besides suffering from academics being a, a victim of torture and necessary pressure and whatnot it was so fulfilling to know that at least there are some aspects in my life where i'm succeeding in long understand so yeah guys um what did i want oh yes talking about that and i was also what fulfilled me what made me happy is also to see my fellow friends my friends who are also mentally disturbed also doing so much more besides medical school like my friends were tutors guys some were tutors in the medical field i love you guys hi crazy hi mentally disturbed i love you guys like i am so proud of you i have two friends who one of my friends was 
having such a difficult time last year where I met him uh, I met her last year and she was actually a subscriber and when I met her she was like I'm so obsessed with your videos it was like love at first sight I felt like we were meant to be friends and we are now good friends and I'm so happy of how many obstacles she has overcame you know she has she has overcome so much and i'm proud of you i can't disclose disclose your name but you know yourself i'm proud of you and i i i'm i'm glad i'm glad that you you are still here and you've survived so much and you are actually my i i i i you inspire me, you know. Um, I don't want to lie. When I faced that exam during, uh, when I wrote the exam, I was like, you know what? I'm writing this exam knowing that I'm going to make it because my friend during those difficult times when she didn't know that she'll survive, she survived. She survived. She survived so much. She had one exam. She passed the exam. She what? She had one of the exams. You know guys i am so proud of yeah like friendship was all it's one of also one of the challenging parts of my life um i never thought that i had to like add invest so much in friends if i say you are i say you everything this year is just challenging like adulting guys it's not funny it's not fun i think my channel now will, will be just about me uh talking about adulting like telling you my new experiences what i've experienced about adulting and whatnot so this was more of an intimate video where i just wanted to talk to you guys and i don't want to i don't want to lie my english is actually impro improving from previous years i think my english is improving at some point uh but when i'm around people it you know it's like I'm not here sorry darling mm -mm. you have to do it yourself yesterday my english was quick guys i couldn't make up sentences i don't know what's wrong with me and now we are going back to campus <laughs> so not impressed uh but we do have to like we just have to yes we fought now now we fought i'm proud that we fought that we wanted online right because the luxury well one of my contacts was like was like i i don't understand how medical students are now stuck in this online thing we want to go to campus say hey it's giving toxic relationship i'm like do you know the luxury of waking up every morning without even washing brushing your teeth and just sit